Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach how to export uh, Excel sheet through database data table to Excel sheet with password productions. Now I will teach how to make that. So here I will put one password like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and click export. So it will export it. So Excel file saved. So I store and setting the path to in D drive. Once open this Excel, it will ask me password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It will open successfully. See? Successfully. Okay. Now I will teach how to make kind of projects. Okay. First of all, I need to create one more form for step by step I will teach how to make this kind of projects okay first I will add one new form so click add new form here just I am putting expert and click add so one form I added here now go to data section in toolbar I will add one grid view here like add on grid view and I will add one button here and I will add one text box here and one label here now I am select all the fields and go to properties here font section I am changing little bit increasing the font size I am choosing this font and size will be well, here I'm changing expert here in label go to properties here changing password see I, I put one text box here I will enter the password in runtime and click export I will export the uh, what data in there in data table it will export okay uh, as of now once I need to set the uh, solution explore in program starting program I will set expert and save and hit the run button so it successfully run but no record will be there so for that I need to create one data table here go to uh, expert design and click double click here it will navigate to form load here I will write the code for creating the data table so I already written some data table creating the data table code I will just copy this code and paste it here so here I will create one function public data table return type is data table and function name is get data table so for that I need to declare here system dot data then only the data table will be enabled so or else it will be showing the error see I will show that I will hide this so you will get the error like that so we need to enable this uh, functions sorry in namespaces so here I am creating the new data table table equal to new table creating the object for data table in the data table I will add the columns dot add equal to here I will specify the column name and here specify the which type data type I specify the data type here ok so id and name string uh, sex this is string, string and create table is type of string and create date sorry create date is type of string and city is also string so totally I have the five columns right now for for that five columns I will adding the values so for that table dot rows dot add 25 uh, add here I will pass the values by same order respective orders respective means ID first I will pass the ID value and name I will pass the name and uh, pass the male or female and pass the date and time and uh, pass the uh, location city so like that I added the some data, few data. So returning is table. Here I returning type, return type I mentioned here table. 
data table that's why I am returning is data table okay now I need to set this grid view to assign the that particular data table into this grid view here okay so for that I will go here coding sections here data grid view one dot data source data grid view one dot data source equal to here I will just call this function here control C and control V now I hit the run button see all the data right now comes into our grid view so as of now I didn't use grid view here for the exporting purpose just I am showing the data into this grid view okay. now I click the export button I need to export the uh, what and all uh, in data table uh, the data I, I need to export into the export into excel sheet okay first I need to create one function for that so for that I already created the functions so just I am copy the functions name here so I created the functions so public void export to excel here data table as a parameter and string file path is a parameter so data table is I will pass this data table and file path I will pass the file path here so just go to double click this button here I will call this functions so export to excel here I will pass this data table so just copy this function name so this function name now act as a data table and pass I will path so I will pass the path D drive colon um, sample dot excel s and put at why I am giving at here so I didn't give at escape sequence through the error so that's or else you have to put the double slash for adding this double slash you have to put the escape sequence character for at sign okay now you click export also doesn't happen because here only created the function but inside function I doesn't return any code here so we need to export excel then we need to call one uh, DLL for that and that DLL only help to uh, create an uh, excel file so our, we need to add that reference so just click that your project name and right click in add click right click add reference in that reference click dotnet components here you will search uh, Microsoft Office Microsoft Office interrupt.excel inter op.excel so select this this only comes once you are installed in excel in your system then only the this dll is available so install excel or ms hobbies in your system ms hobbies in your system then only this dll will come here so once you click the dll and click ok so the dll successfully added here so you will find the dll here okay now i need to uh, initialize that dll okay for that using here we will assign that dll variable to one variable so excel equal to excel equal to Microsoft dot office dot interrupt dot excel. So I declare one variable and assign the values into that variable. So that variable name is called Excel. We need to use that variable in further usage. So now again I I am comes into export dot excel functions here. 
uh, inbuilt data table is there and uh, excel path is there so i will explain one by one step by step first i need to create the try catch flag so for the try catch flag you have to i will give one simple solution right click your project go to insert recipient here click visual c sharp try double click this try it will create the try flag try catch block for you in that exception any exception comes the uh, error will be throw here okay leave it now we need to add some codes here so first i'm copy this code control c control v so here first i will check get the data table in case data table is null or data table columns count equal to zero throw the new exception so that throw exception will call directly in catch function exception will throw null or empty input tables okay that means uh, in data table any records is there then only the function will be execute okay now i will call this so here excel excel this variable i declared here so that variable I am calling here excel dot application equal to excel up equal to new excel dot application. I created one application set, one object for this excel application set. So excel app dot workbook dot add. That means I will add one new workbook. So what what is the workbook? I will explain here. So go to uh, excel. This is the workbook. One workbook. See. This is the one workbook. So I created the one workbook here. Okay. I will create it, add one workbook here. After I will create one worksheet. Sorry. I will access in that workbook. I will access one worksheet. So Excel dot worksheet equal to worksheet equal to Excel dot active sheet means in that workbook. I will access this active worksheet. So first worksheet will be accessible. Okay. Now copy this and paste it. Here column heading. Heading. So here I will get the heading of the data table. So here we declare already get data table. So get data table means that heading. Heading means ID, name, uh, sex, create date, and city. So that and all, how many columns is there? How many? Uh, that that time the loop will be run. So in that uh, worksheet cell one comma I one zero like that. The column name will be added. I will explain this. So x, uh, x one means this is. In that one row, this is one comma zero. Sorry, one comma one, one comma two, one comma three, one comma four, and one comma five, and one comma six. So here heading will be added. So for that we created here. Okay. Now we need to create the uh, other things like a row. Now I need to loop that row here. So so how many records count will be there for that it will be uh, looping the records so first row means first time it will run the uh, first row it will get uh, I, I, I wait uh, tell I just a minute I will tell so consider this is a data table data so here first row in that first row so i need to loop these two rows first and second as well as in first row i need to loop uh, five columns sorry six columns so understood in first row i need to loop into this column also so uh, that's why i'm return here for two loops for first one is for looping uh, rows second one is every time is looping now uh, that time loop here column also so column count how many column is there it will loop 
so for that it will add uh, 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 here 1 comma 2 comma 1 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 2 comma 5 6 like that it will be added here okay so we added in active worksheet now everything we added in active worksheet now we will check about the parts we will check the about the parts now okay now we just copy this and paste it here so excel path is invalid or null then it will throw the exception excel app visible will be false true like that so i am showing here try cache so excel path i will save that path i will close it okay just a minute i will hide this so i will save that uh, file into this path in excel app it will be quite means it will close once successfully saved the message should be come like that okay simple thing only now i hit the run button every data will become and click export so excel file exported now i'm going to my computer d drive sample.excel now through give yes it will come so record will be show throwing here this is header for first column first two row other will be data are coming successfully now i need to add here some password so first i will delete this record or else it will ask overwrite message okay now i need to put the password so you need to provide the password so just go to here or sheet.save here put comma here put type password password colon here give what password you need so i will put one two three or else i will give that password from this text box this text box then here mention the text box name so text box one dot text so just save the button now hit the run so here i will give the password one two three four five six or any password you can give here i will put admin and click export so file exported successfully now go to you close the exiting all excel files no need now go to my computer d drive sample data is stored here now click it will ask the password here i will put one two three four five six and click okay password is, oh sorry i am given as a password is admin right yeah so admin i am give admin and click ok here you have to push f put s the data will be showing here so you want to run once again click here admin one i will change the password and click export it will showing the already file is exiting so you want to replace so i put yes i want to replace so file exported successfully now open it will asking password here admin one and yes successfully open okay guys we will meet on next best tutorial bye see you later